Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to do a different style video. I am going to be sharing my best and worst designer purchases. I actually love seeing these videos just to see what people really love or like really regret buying. I just find it really interesting. So I'm gonna be mixing it up today and sharing with you guys some of my designer purchases that I absolutely love and some that I really regret. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Karen and I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos, all things girly and feminine on my channel. So I would love it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button below. I make videos three times a week and I also have a fashion blog and Instagram if you wanna check it out below. And I will have everything, if I could find links to any of these pieces, I will link them below for you guys. You guys have to let me know if you have any best or worst bag regrets below because I would love to hear from you guys and we'll get a conversation started about all the designer purchases we love or regret. So let's get started. Um, I'm gonna do no particular order. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna do a best and then a worst and then best and worst. I have five best and then five regrets. So let's start off on a positive note and it's gonna be pretty much in no particular order. Maybe I'll save my absolute favorite bag at the very end. So one of my absolute favorite bag purchases, and this is something that I didn't even realize how much I was even gonna love it until I actually started wearing it and it is my YSL Lulu bag. This bag is not only super gorgeous, but I find this bag to be so, so just like functional. It holds so much. I don't remember all the size names and everything like that. So I'll just have the exact bags linked below. Um, but yeah, it's so beautiful. This is so functional. I feel like it just holds everything that I would need and then some, like it just is so spacious. I love it so much. I love just how, how it's held up. The wear and tear has been amazing and incredible. Like it literally looks brand new, which is great. So I just overall really love it. I love that I could wear it over my shoulder. I do have bag collection videos reviewing a lot of these bags. If you guys wanna check it out. Definitely though, such a good one. It is just amazing. And overall, I love the size and I love the way it looks. All right, we're gonna go to a bag regret. This is probably one of my number one bag regrets. And it was one of the first designs designer bag purchases I've ever made actually. So back in 2012, this is the bag right here. It's the Louis Vuitton Speedy. And I know this may be a little controversial to some because I know it is such a like entry level bag. If you're buying like Louis Vuitton, like most people say, I'm either gonna go with the Speedy or the Neverfull. Those are like the two entry levels. And I have to say, well, I think it's a beautiful bag because I did buy it. So it's not that I don't think the bag is not beautiful. Like, so if you have a Speedy, I am totally not knocking the bag down in any way. Like, that's really great. For me, I feel like the Bandolier is a better option. But the reason why I regretted buying the Speedy and I did sell it, so I don't have it physically with me, but I just felt like the bag was just hard. I, I'm not like a crook of the arm all the time kind of girl. So I feel like the bag was becoming very uncomfortable and that's the only way you could really carry it either in your hand or on the crook of your arm. And I noticed that I always wanted to like have a bag that would go over my shoulder. So if you are looking into the Speedy, I would recommend maybe looking into the Bandolier which has the shoulder strap, that might be better. I don't know, it just no longer was functional for me. I just did not like how it was always stuck carrying it on the crook of my arm. So I did, it was the Speedy 30, I think it was. So I did sell it and definitely regretted it. It's sad that it was like my one of my first designer bag purchases and I don't have it still. So it's not like I've had it, you know. But anyways, yeah, I definitely regretted that one and I'm glad I sold it. So speaking of the entry level bags for Louis Vuitton, this is a top favorite of mine and my top five favorites. And it is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Now again, this is like one of the bags that most people get when they are wanting to get their first designer bag purchase. I have to say it's a really good bag. It's so functional, so sturdy, and it is a gorgeous bag. It is really pretty. And I just think it, it feels very stylish. I have the rose ballerine interior. I have the stuff with this winter scarf right now. That's how I stuff it. But it's a beautiful bag. It's held up so, so well. Um, I definitely just think it is though, like it's a tote bag. It's very functional and it's really great. So sturdy. Like I remember the monogram one was like my college bag and I literally would carry like my laptop in it, my textbooks, everything like that. And it would 
hold up so well and it got a lot of wear and tear on it and i feel like it just held up like it never like the straps never broke or anything so it was amazing so i can't say enough great things i know there's been price increases since so it's just up to you if it's worth it or not but i definitely think it is worth it um such a beautiful bag i definitely love it um and you really just can't go wrong with any of them so definitely such a pretty one all right the second bag regret is the Louis Vuitton Alma PM. Now, I do want to start off by saying it is such a stunning bag. There's a reason it's been on my wish list in the past for quite some time, and I got it for a while and I again sold it. But again, I think it was kind of like I didn't learn my lesson with the Speedy, and it was one of those stiffer, like top handle bags. The Alma is extremely structured it's a beautiful bag and i picked out a very specific shade of pink it's like a hot pink and it's stunning but at the same time it just again for me at the age that i was at when i bought it it just wasn't functional again and it is definitely something that if i had a ton of bags um that i wanted to have in my collection i would probably keep it in my collection because but i feel like i wasn't gonna get enough wear out of it and yeah i don't know i just felt like the color was very specific i mean for how much money i was spending on it at the time like i wanted to be able to wear it, like a lot more than just like with white or something like that so i just felt like it wasn't that serviceable for me again so i didn't learn my lesson with the top handle again and i should have just bought the shoulder strap probably and then i would have gotten way more use out of it like i don't know so if you guys have the alma let me know i think it's such a stunning bag though i'm like in no way knocking it down like i think again it was just like more about function and not the fashion of it this next bag is another favorite of mine and i always get so many compliments this is probably the most complimented bag whenever i wear it it's very unique i feel like but it's the louis vuitton clapton pm i do sometimes once in a while see these for resale so i'll try to link and find them below for that are pre-loved but this is a beautiful bag and it's crossbody. and again this one holds quite a bit i do have to say the only thing i would say i wish this was in brush gold on the front and not the shiny gold because then I feel like I don't like it when you could see all the scratches, but it's not even like terribly scratched. There's a little bit of scratching on it, but you have a big spacious pocket in front. I love the pink lining in it. It really is such a stunning bag and I should wear this more often. I really should. I don't reach for this as much, but at the same time, it is such a stunning bag. It's gorgeous. Like looking at it in the viewfinder and I'm like, why don't I wear this more often? But it is such a beautiful bag. I have been wearing it a little bit more often lately, but overall i feel like i should get more use out of this because it is such a stunning bag i think i just tend to gravitate towards like the tote bags and stuff because like you just throw everything in but um this is such a beautiful one it's a unique piece i love the crossbody strap or shoulder strap option and again it's a little tip for you guys think about the bags you currently wear and then the ones on your wish list are they going to align with that like are you a person that wears your bags more on the crook of your arm than maybe the speedies for you all right this is not a bag regret this is more like just a designer purchase in general regret this purchase from chanel so it was a chanel bracelet i bought this for myself for my 21st birthday i was just it was kind of like a spur of the moment decision which now looking back anymore i feel like designer purchases most of the time they should you should be thinking about it and like leave the store for a little bit and think about it and if you're still thinking about it then get it this was one of the things that i just bought it that day when i saw it and back then i did wear a lot of silver and i did get use out of it because part of the reason why i kind of regret it is that the one pearl on the end is totally scratched up and scraped and it is costume jewelry so it definitely is expensive costume jewelry i am not knocking all chanel jewelry because actually i had the earrings in from them that i just absolutely love and i wear all the time and i have not had one issue uh, but the amount of times i wore it there is not like any wear and tear on them so i love them so much so i think this was just like a one-time thing that happened to me and also this is silver and i don't really wear much silver anymore and i do feel like the pearls are very very dressy so i feel like this is more for like a special occasion so it's not like an everyday bracelet so um while it is a beautiful bracelet the pearl on the end didn't hold up and it just is silver so i don't reach for it so i kind of regret it so if i would have known what i know now i definitely wouldn't have bought it a bag i absolutely love and just adore so much and this has also like a little meaning behind it and it reminds me i love buying bags on trips because the bag just reminds me of the trip and everything and there's memories surrounding it i love my chanel small flat bag this bag brings back so many memories of my recent New York trip in the winter time last year. I just love this bag. I think it is so beautiful. It's in the light beige and it's just perfection and I just love it. It's my first 
actual like Chanel flat bag and it is just a stunning, stunning piece. I treated myself to this when I hit a certain milestone on my blog. So I'm really, really happy with it. And it's just really gorgeous. And I feel like it goes with so much. The shade of beige is like really light beige. So I just love it. I just feel like this is a rare shade of beige. They told me, for some, I don't know if that's true or not, but they said it was rare shade of beige. So I love it so much and definitely a keeper in my collection. Okay, this is like a really random, I actually almost forgot about that I even got this bag, but a random bag regret would be uh, my Givenchy Antigona. Is it Antigona or Antigona? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I don't get into the, all the names and whatnot. All I know is that it was Givenchy and it was that, um, you know, structured bag that you know, it's really popular, but I got it in this like raspberry color. Again, I don't know what I was thinking with such a specific color like that for how expensive it was. And I did buy it. I brought it home and I never used it or anything. It was just sitting there. And there was that sense of kind of regret afterwards when I got it. I was like, mm, maybe the color is a little specific as I was trying to like put outfits together with it. Obviously, if that bag was in, you know, an under a hundred dollar find or something maybe it, it definitely would be a keeper but for how much it was and for how specific the color was i'm like what am i doing with this bag so it was a beautiful bag but um definitely regretted the color i think i think it was more so the color choice than anything um because it does hold quite a bit but yeah definitely regretted that one i'm just gonna share one more bag regret and then i want to end like on a positive note and with my favorite bag out of my collection so the last bag regret was actually a backpack and i got it from louis vuitton again i didn't own it for a long period of time i bought it i had it sit in the box and it was just sitting in the box for like a couple days after i got it it was in the damier azure print it was like the white and grayish blue checkered and it was actually in this print right here in case you want a visual but um yeah i got the backpack i think it's absolutely stunning i loved it so much but i think because i bought it near the end of summer and i knew we were going to be going into fall and winter and i'm like i could wear this one pretty much all year round i will wear it in the winter and like fall and winter but i to me i tend to think like of the damier a bean is more of like this is to me like more wintry like i like the brown tones like that for winter um but so I figured like, I'm not even probably want to use this backpack. First of all, a backpack is very specific and the coloring was specific for the time of year that I bought it. So I definitely might revisit that another time in the future because I do think the bag is really cute. But I think for me, like right now, like I just got a Soul Society backpack for under $100. So like that for me was more serviceable because you don't use a backpack every day usually. So I think for now, like just a more affordable option is just the way to go for me. Yeah, that was definitely a regret and good thing I didn't like use it or anything because then, you know, I just returned it. So yes definitely i think it was just more like the timing because if it was at the beginning of spring i would have probably kept it and like wore it all throughout but when you get a new bag you want to be able to like, use it a lot you know so it just didn't make sense all right are we down to the number one bag favorite any guesses so this is my number one bag favorite i just i have to it has to be my number one bag favorite because it's just the most stunning bag and it really is very very functional i did obviously share with you guys i think it was in my handbag collection video you know there's a few cons i get past it because i just think it's such a stunning bag and you know for the most part it really doesn't bother me like it's usually now i think they make the jovils with the a uh, little piece of leather here. So it rests on your shoulder. That's pretty much the only con I could find with it. But other than that, like for the most part, like it's really amazing and I just love it. I think it's so sunny. If you're on the fence about it, I recommend it. I think they're so beautiful and they really are such good quality. Like seriously, they like are so good. I just love it so, so much. I just think it is so unique. And the Dovilles in general, I think are a really great bag um, for travel or just every day. You can put your laptop in it. It's just stunning. So those are my best and worst designer bag purchases or designer purchases in general. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any 
regrets or favorite purchases ever i would love to hear from you guys like i would love to read through all the comments and i'm sure everyone else would love to read through in case they're looking to purchase the bag like let me know your thoughts and maybe you love the speedy or something so share your experiences below as to why maybe you like the bags and i think it'd be fun for everyone to read through as well as i love reading through and hearing from you guys so that is gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for some more videos on my channel i have some try on hauls coming up um so i love you guys so much if you have any video requests as well you could leave them below but i'm gonna end today's video here and i will see you all in my next video very soon love you guys bye